Okay, hello again everyone. Um, this lesson's uh, about waves. Uh, if you want to know about global warming then you really do need to understand a little bit about waves, especially electromagnetic waves, uh, which is how we receive heat from the sun. So we're generally going to have a uh, look at waves and um, first of all we're going to start off with surface waves or sea waves, ocean waves. Okay let's start off by drawing um, a, a wave or so, some waves maybe. Rather steep waves. I spent a lot of time working on ships so I do know quite a lot about waves. Okay that's, okay, that's nearly two waves there. Um, so let's say the waves are moving, these are sea waves and these sea waves are moving in this direction. Now you might be surprised to know that the, even though the waves are moving in this direction the actual water molecules aren't moving in that direction at all. Uh, the water molecules are moving in a circular direction and to do that, uh, to demonstrate that I'm going to draw two circles here or try to draw two circles. Uh, let's see how it goes one circle there. Okay, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out, but excuse my circles. Okay, not bad. Okay, um, let's say for example it takes eight seconds for the wave to travel from one crest to another crest. So that's one complete wavelength. And uh, So therefore quarter of a wavelength would be two seconds. And uh, if we look at the, the green circles, the green circles show where or the direction the water molecules travel. So as I said, let's look have a look at just a quarter of a wavelength or two seconds. Um, we're going to have a look at a quarter of a wavelength or two seconds. Now this here, that there, we're going to call the quarter of a wavelength or the quarter of two seconds. And so let's say a water molecule moves from here to here. Right. So now we're going to draw a new wave here, up through there, okay, and something like that. Okay, so now we can see that the wave has actually moved forward by two seconds. Uh, and it's done this because the water molecule, or the water molecules, actually moved in a circle around here, right here, uh, and here. Right. Uh, let, let's try doing that. Um, okay, let's try doing that again. Let's pretend that. Okay, the, the, this water actually goes something like like that. Okay, let me rub out. Later on, okay, the, we're going to have a look at some, some water, let's, let's say just here, moving from here to here, right? And we're going to actually see what that looks like. Yeah. So we're going to draw another wave going through there, Whoops, something like something like that. Okay, right, and you can see, right, that the water molecule moved from here up to here now. Yeah, so, and so now this is the new wave. And as you can see, you know, it looks like the waves are going this way, but what is ha in fact happening is the water molecules are just going round in a in a circle like like this. Okay, I think you get the rough idea. So uh, this is zero seconds. This w this wave here is one second, this wave, here, sorry, is two seconds, this wave here is two seconds, this wave here is four seconds, right? And of course, well, I haven't drawn six seconds in, but there's eight seconds, so from here to here, that's that's one wavelength, okay, right? And for that to happen, the water molecule would actually have to travel in a circle once, right? Now, this diagram is a bit um, misleading, really, because you don't ever get waves this high at sea, you know, the waves would collapse, yeah, it, um, you know, I've been working on ships a long time and, and uh, you, you know, imagine being on a, a little ship and in these waves, that would be quite terrifying. So, you, you, so in fact, it doesn't quite look like that and I'm going to change the drawing a little bit um, so that we can actually 
see um, a little bit more realistically what it's like. And I'm going to start by drawing lots of circles like this. Lots of circles like that. Excuse my circles, but you'll see what I'm getting getting at in a moment. Okay, now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and show with a let's say with the red. Okay, right. Uh, what actually happens to the waves now? Each circle. I'm going to move the, the red dot a little bit around the circle each time. You see, just see what I'm doing there? I, ho I hope so. Uh, it's at the bottom. Okay, it's coming back up again now. And there. Right? And if I join those lines together, and we'll see what happens. Whoa. Okay, and joining the red dots together, and okay, so you can see uh, from that uh, we've got uh, one one wavelength there, um, and all that's happened is the water has been traveling around these circles you know like like this the water's just been traveling around these circles and that's what actually has created this wave and that's a more realistic wave you might see waves like this uh, on the sea okay right uh, in fact let's draw our <laughs> let's draw a little ship just for fun just like this um, okay there's our ocean going ocean going ship okay right yeah and there, and there's the, the wave that's still quite rough weather but you can get a rough idea there of of what's actually happening to the water molecules the water molecules are actually traveling around in a circle there so we can see that you know with this diagram that the water molecules are traveling around in a circle okay see you next lesson